Too many times, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah. Yeah. I have to take full advantage of that fact. Yeah. It's much, much more easier for me to live with myself when I do. Rather than yeah. pressurized to do this, do that. I did a lot of freelance work, but you know, it didn't interfere with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I got my video stuff back there. Can you take a look? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. You edit that. You edit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So how long do you make it take? I write DVDs. I write my DVDs average about an hour to an hour and a half. I put the camera on the bicycle and go out and record different kind of things. Yeah. Come back and edit it. I use my old videos from the things I was doing initially in the 90s and put stuff like that together. It's like a, a running what dialogue. The, life of the, piece? <laughs> the media. If I could put an hour into media, I put an hour in. I don't like snipping on snakes. I put as much as I can into the media. I like to give the customer as much as I can. Most, most people want five minutes, but I got 45 minutes left on a DVD. I'm gonna just, I put something in there. So most of all my stuff, they just fill up the uh, that time zone. And it's in clips, so people just look at different segments, but they don't understand how new technology works. So they're getting a full box with extras. And I kind of, I prefer to do it that way. So what are you up to today? Well, I'm glad I didn't feel like that. I went to school to a gallery and get it. Uh-huh. It's just, it's an art, you know, I mean, they sell, they sell wood. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Keep the color. Oh, okay. You get out of bed then. Got out of the bed. But it's just kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're turning into a young man. Yeah. You're learning how to take it easy. Well, I learned that. I'm just going when you when you from 82 to 83, they give you the center that you want. So you 84? No, I'm gonna be 83. Oh, 83. That's my recollection. Yes. When's your birthday? November 9th. You be 83 November 9th. So basically 83 already. To the best of my recollection, I could be 83 in November. However, uh -huh. don't hold me to it. Yeah. 1934 I was born. That was a good time. Oh, I'm born in the middle of everything. Yeah. Shit's getting ready to happen. Five years old, you don't know what's going on. The war happened. Fifteen years old, we you know, like. When you come into your own, everything's all over with. I'm having a nice time. What I remember the best is that in the lake, the Zurich Lake froze over. It was a very cold here. Everybody got very excited, but it didn't happen. And I don't think it happened since. Maybe it was in the 30s. The lake froze. It's a fairly big lake. Yeah. yeah. I was born in 38. Yeah. It was a different time also. It was like uh, 
Like you were born in the middle of time, I was born in the middle of time. Where are you born? Where were you born? South Carolina. Where? Rock Hill. Place called Rock Hill. It's like uh, 20 miles outside of North Carolina. Winston-Salem. Right across the line there. I was born in a very rural area. Any cars came down the road, you know, they were lost because there was no place they could go back in there. It was just ruts and holes. and So we have to go back and push them out. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two, one brother and one sister. Uh, the family itself is like gigantic. But on my side of the family, just have a brother and sister, but have like hordes of aunts, hordes of, it just goes on and on. In fact, when I came in up here, I didn't realize I had a lot of relatives in Brooklyn. But there was, there was many sides to my family. And the family I grew up with didn't get along with the other sides. In fact, when, when we got together at different points in times, the kids used to beat me up. They used to gang up on me, so I hated them. So when I came up here, they had grown up, and they had kids. So I met some of them out there in Brooklyn. It was like amazing. On the other side of my family, you have 15 to 20 kids in the family. Now you can imagine 15 to 20 kids in a family. In my family, I had to take care of like uh, eight additional kids when I was a kid. So I had a job to do. So my job was basically to look after the kids. This when I was five years old. So I, was, like, I look back now, I'm five years old, taking care of me. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> So when I came up here, I was 11. So I had literally grown up. I came up here a young man at 11. So I was taking care of my brother and sister here. I was 11 and they were six. New York City. What do I know about the city? I walk onto the train, walk underneath it, get on the train to go someplace, come up and like, I don't know where I am, walk around for a while, go back down the train. I live on the train and the libraries and the museums and New York City was my like Alice in Wonderland thing. So it's one of the most enjoyable part of my life. So ever since then I've been into taking pictures of all those things that I was like totally enjoyed by. New York, it's like, it's like this place as opposed to where I grew up at. So it's this wonderful trip I'm on. It's a wonderful trip I'm on. And after leaving you last week, I recognize you, you know, to know people like you. That's, yeah, like, that's so amazing, you know. I never dreamed of knowing somebody like you. Now I'm sitting in your house there and your wife mentioned the fact that you have this big thing next week. It's, yeah, that is Robert Frank, huh? <laughs> This is the greatest. Yeah, so I'm surrounded by greatness. How can I feel? I always look at it that way. How can I feel? I'm surrounded by greatness. I'm privilege. Yeah. Many, many years. All it takes. Just like you, you know. In 50 years, they're going to give me my time. <laughs> I'll be 120 then. Well, what you're saying is that city makes something. You come back in city. I had Maria punch your name into the computer. And all the stuff came up. So, holy shit, this guy's been busy all his life. Oh, it's, it's good and bad. I mean, I don't. All that stuff comes up, you know, you sort of get a different picture maybe of the guy, you know. So. It's always known you as a person, not in terms of Robert Frank. Well, it's a new thing, you know, you couldn't do that before. Computers, you had to get to know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Different. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, we came in here, we had another book published. You brought the publisher in and his uh, entourage. Remember that? The lines of my hand. The guy from, from Switzerland came in, all dressed all smooth, you know. Was he from France? One of those places, but he was real smooth. I said, oh, he deal with these people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, New York is a good city. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I didn't know when I came, I thought, you know. How did you get around on Bleecker Street? That in the middle of what was happening? 
rented a room, one room in that house, eleven dollars a month. And then I got to know the guy, and then he was some Jewish guy, the father lived over here on Second Avenue. And he said, my father would sell it to you. I went to see the old guy, you know, lying in the bed, and over the bed he had a big swordfish. Over the bed. Second Avenue. Yeah, he was a guy, he was an old man. I knock on the door, you know, and I wait, and knock again, and I wait. Then all of a sudden I hear his voice, why don't you come in, you know? <laughs> we wait out there for it. <laughs> lying in the bed. Beautiful guy. And that's how I got to, to Peter Street. They had a lot of action over there during that 50s and 60s, huh? It was a big uh, drug house in the beginning. Good stuff. Big, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was a dark street. Yeah, 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 there. yeah. They had that old, uh, the wall league across the street from you there, and the guy didn't want nobody to come in there, and they had to come in and take him out of there. Yeah. They had the brushing clinic right around the corner there, and people were getting upset with that. Now you got pizza places. <laughs> Bad oh, shots. Still there, the hippie guy. Yeah? Yeah. They know. They yeah, 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 yeah. Folks around in boots. And yeah. Kind of a weird guy. Oh. Vigor Street, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, then it got better, you know. Mm -hmm. Now it's a real estate Boom. street. So you're going to turn your house into a museum? Like the people next door to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it is a landmark now. Yeah, that whole side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a nice house, you know. Yeah. It's a nice old house. I mean, I look at it around. I figured you'd turn it into a museum. Good enough to wait. Well, it could be a museum. That's not going on there. Well, um, you're going to be there for the rest of your life. Come on I now. I don't want to live in a museum. <laughs> I don't want to live in a house. <laughs> nice to see people coming here. Oh, yeah. This is Main Street now. Main Street, USA. Different profiles. You should turn it around. No, I can't do that. Do a history. I gotta do like you do. Good evening, y'all. Hi. Good evening. And you are? I am? Yeah. My name's Papa. Okay. You into photography? I am, sir. Really? I want you to meet the greatest photographer in the world. Yeah. Are these your friends? These are mine. These are yours? Yeah, I'm not as good as him, but I'm getting there. <laughs> this is uh, Mr. Robert Frank. He's got a special program coming up in Lincoln Center next week. What, do you have food? I don't know, I live What? I live here? Yeah. Thank you. What camera camera you use? Uh, M6. Oh. Just uh, got a recent actually. Yeah, you got a good one. Yeah. Did you study photography? Uh, I did. No, I'm, uh, I'm an actor. I kind of, uh, on my, uh, I guess between shooting and stuff, I just started taking a lot of pictures and then decided I wanted to go back and start taking film pictures. And I, there was a prop. One of the guys in the, one of the actors had a prop that's like us. Uh, an older six, and I took about nine rolls, and I was like, "This is incredible. This is like hooked." And uh, yeah, that was just this past summer. Well, good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. 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 Uh, competition to be in. Huh?